Hello my friends, welcome back to my channel. Today I am going to be talking about a new planner. I recently got this from the gals over at perfectplanner.com. I will be leaving their information on the screen as well as down below. And I just wanted to share what I got from them. This came in a nice green little bubble mailer. I'm not gonna show you the other side because it's all like personal stuff and everything. So I actually got the A5 size. There is a whole bunch of different sizes that you can choose on their website. I decided to go with the A5 size. You can pick your cover as well as if you want any print on it, as well as your little elastic band cover. There's so much customization, um, so it's really, kind of a cool little product so I just wanted to take you guys through I'm gonna do a little pen test as well in just a moment and tell you a little bit about the planner so it's got this really nice um, it's kind of like a textured uh, protector over the front and then it's like smooth on the back and then I chose the gray and white design as well as my name in the white well not like my real name but you know it's like my online name <laughs> and then on the inside you could um, personalize this this page I just did a really basic just favorite daughter Emily and then it's just says let's plan with per the personal planner and then this is the website personal-planner.com and this goes in to December of last year so this is a 12 month planner I believe if I remember right yes it is okay perfect um, I just want to double check you know what I'm saying there was several different options on the website and I actually ended up getting all of the options and let me zoom you guys in so you can see some of these different options they actually print these for you just the way that you like it so let me zoom you in a little bit more okay now that we're zoomed in a little bit more, let's see some of the customization. So on the very bottom, you could choose what you wanted for your bottom bar as well as down here. There was a bunch of other little things you could do. So like I did all of the options so I could show you guys what was available. So um, this is ours. So this is kind of like ours slept. And then this is like a temperature gauge right here. And this says like training and that says time and then the type of exercise. Over here, I did a this week's dinners. So it's like Monday through Friday. And then over here is just a plain checklist with some check boxes. Let's move you over to the end of the week over here. So, and then over here, I decided to go with the idea of the week. And then there was this like little full month view right here as well. You can also, I believe, customize what country you're from and they can put in like the country's um, holidays. Let me see if I can push up on here to say New Year's Eve, um, which was kind of cool. You can choose to have all of these. You can choose to have none of these. It's kind of up to you how you want it, um, which was really nice. So it's just a plain old vertical way of planning, which is totally my jam. Let me zoom you back out so we can see a little bit more. So like I was saying, the vertical way is the way that I like it. Um, this also matches the cover. I believe that you can customize this into anything that you want as well. There was tons of different customization that you can do. Um, so this is the first week from December into January and then you've got your month spread which is really really nice. I like that it has a little bit of lines over here so you can make some notes and then you're into the full week of January. So yeah, and then I have this printed on every single one and then obviously the January one, you know, like this little monthly icon will change because it will highlight the week that we are currently in. So it has all of the different weeks and then it goes into the new month. So that goes all the way through and I think these are really kind of cool. I like that um, it has a little bit of color in it even though I'm not like totally down with color, but you know what I'm saying? Um, but yeah, it has just like some really subtle color in there, as well as if you look at the spine of this, I know it's might be really kind of hard to see and I do apologize. It does have like all the different um, colors. So it goes red, pink, orange, yellow, uh, lighter green, darker green, light blue, dark blue, kind of a really, really dark blue, uh, a purple, and then almost like a violet color. And then over here, is red again so it's like all the way into um december so we've got december i'm not gonna flip through the whole thing because it's essentially like the same thing all the way around 
And then, really cool thing is, oh, they did put in the last, or the first, the full first week of January, which is really cool of 2018. That's really nice. And then, um, so you could choose in the back, there was up to a certain amount of pages, but you could choose what you wanted. So these are some dot grid pages, because I thought those would be, you know, interesting as well as um let's see here what's the next one okay so this is like a perpetual calendar like a 2017 overview so it's got all the days in january february you know march april so if there's something going on or you're traveling or you've got certain days you're doing certain things on um you could like do this for like your paydays or there's so many things you could do and i like the little pop of color that it like coincides with um you know, the month, you know, those like little, they're not even tabs, but just thought that would be really a cool idea. And then um, we have J July through December over here, which is really nice. So that's 2017. Then we get into 2018. So this is really nice if you're figuring out like travel or things like that for the following year. That's really nice. Oh, and there's also 2019. That's really cool too. I like that. Again, these are options that you would put in your order as well. And then there's some grid pages, which I thought would be kind of fun. And then this is the last page of the planner. So the back side again is the same as the front side. Let me show you like that. Um, and then it also has the same um, plastic protector. And then like I said, you could choose your elastic band style. So that's cool. So I ordered this as well as I ended up getting a little sheet protector, which is nice. So you could put like stickers or any other thing in there and it would just snap right in here. Um, like this. I mean, obviously you could put it inside the planner, but kind of a cool little option right there. And then they also have a ruler, which is really nice. So you could also, again, have this on the very front or you could have it in the middle or, you know, something like that as well. And then I also ended up purchasing these guys. There are some stickers that they have available on their website and I thought these would be really cool. It's actually a huge sticker sheet. Um, so yeah, so there is like a blue version. Whoop, whoa, <laughs> it's like I'm so zoomed in that you can't even see all of them. Um, and then there's also like, a, like more of a pink version, which is really nice. So like lots of different icons and just some really basic, really nice stickers. So I'm really excited about those, but okay. So let's get into the pen testing and then I will kind of show you from there what the quality of paper is like. I will tell you the paper is quite silky feeling. So that's really a nice thing. Um, I, I, I like this paper. So let's, uh, Let's play with this week since this week's already over with so I won't be like ruining any specific pages or anything but let me grab a bunch of pens and then I'll be right back. All right, so as you guys know, I'm definitely a team black player here. So I am gonna be putting in all of my black pens that I typically use or ones that even I don't typically use because I wanna show you um, like if they're bleeding through and things like that. Um, obviously you could always write on a sticker too, but this doesn't feel like if you guys have been watching my channel for a little while, you know that I am typically in an Erin Condren hourly. So um, that paper is definitely a whole lot thinner and really I feel like you have to be pretty careful about that. So um, the first pen that we're gonna use is gonna be the Pilot G205. All right, so that's that pen. And then the next one up is gonna be the Paper Mate Inkjoy Gel Pen in the 07. I definitely like the way that writes better because I'm just, I'm just that person. Um, next up is going to be the Pilot Ultra Fine Permanent. These are one of my favorite pens, as well as I'm gonna link all the pens that I'm using down below for you guys. I'll just put an Amazon link, might be a little bit easier. One of my favorite pens. And then this one is a Micron, the Pigma Micron 03 in the black. Um, I can tell you, I actually got this um, at a planner meetup a few months ago, and honestly, I've never really used it, but maybe I'll start using it now. I don't know. It was a Micron 03. Actually, I kind of like the way that writes. All right, so let's look and see how it did on the other side. All right. Let's zoom you guys in so you can see if there's any shadowing and things like that. All right. Whoop. Okay. 
So really the biggest loser was is my favorite permanent marker, but that's all right. You just don't have to use it. Um, this is always really nice on stickers, I feel like, but none of the other ones bled through at all. And this Micron 03, that one actually did really, really good. Um, you can't even see it at all. So I would say this would be a great one for if you want to use more of a permanent marker in this planner and then really any kind of regular pen this is a gel pen and then um this is a gel pen as well but in a finer point so i don't know i really like both of these ones i kind of like them a lot all right so that's the pen test on that but let's do some pen tests on the stickers really quickly okay micron i always like to put my finger over it right away just because I wanna see how fast it's drying on the paper as well. Okay. All right, so really the only one that didn't streak would be the Pilot marker that actually was the loser over here. But honestly, I think if you gave it a second to dry, they would all you know, dry pretty well. Um, and then let me put this over here. Yeah, these stickers are really nice. They feel, they feel really nice. Like they're not a matte, but they're not a glossy. They're kind of like a, I don't know, like a semi-gloss maybe. Um, but I would definitely use this on there for sure. The Pilot Ultra Fine Point pen on there. So I actually have a really fun announcement about this planner. I am teaming up with this company and we are gonna be doing a giveaway for you guys. I will leave all of the instructions down below. This will be open internationally, which is awesome. I'm gonna be holding this on my Instagram page. Basic rules is you have to be over 18 to enter. If you are under the age of 18, just get parental consent that Perfect Planner can send you a gift certificate code. That's what's gonna happen is they're actually gonna send you a code via email. So um, basic rules after that are you have to subscribe to my YouTube channel. You also have to subscribe to myself as well as Perfect Planner on Instagram and all the links will be down below. On Instagram, you are gonna go to my Instagram feed. There are gonna be, there's gonna be a specific post that will say giveaway post. It will run for a specific length of time. I'm not sure about that yet, but I will put that in the description box below. Also for a dual entry, you can repost the picture that I put on my Instagram and tag myself as well as Perfect Planner. So there are two available entries per person. Again, they are gonna send you a coupon code voucher where you can purchase any planner in their shop and you can completely customize it the way that you want which is pretty awesome just make sure to follow all the instructions that are down below for you guys and for anybody out there that does not win I apologize however they have provided my viewers with a wonderful code if you want to go onto their website like I said these are completely all customizable they do take a couple of weeks to get to you but they're totally worth the wait the paper quality is awesome but I will leave all the details down below as to the coupon code and the the expiration date. So that is gonna be it from me. I hope you guys have a wonderful day no matter where you are. Feel free to thumbs up the video if you liked it as well as make sure to enter the giveaway if you want to be qualified to win a planner and there's a ton of different sizes on their website too which is pretty cool. So anyway that is it for me. I hope you guys are having a wonderful day no matter where you are and I will talk to y'all in my next video. Bye guys!